Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Antwerp have chosen to line up 5-4-1 here, it seems. Conservatism would appear to be at play, Peter. However, we don't quite know what their motives are just yet. It could well be as it looks, but it might also be a way of deceiving the opposition into thinking that they're just going to sit back and then hope to produce an aggressive counter-attack or two. This system can accommodate that, and I certainly hope we're going to get something positive in response, and it's not going to be all defence. There's the whistle, and here we go. Hoists it forward. Well read, he sorted that out. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Well, that's where he wants it. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Chance to break. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Out towards the flank. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. That's sprayed out wide. Umbakani could move up a gear here. Looking to hit the front line. Hoists it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. the final action of the first half. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Two back on the first 45 minutes. It's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Antwerp pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second-best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. There are a few waiting for it. out in the nick of time 
And the counter is on. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Plays it out wide. Danger averted for now. Pings it in. It's a brilliant interception. look the likely outcome well to his credit he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off but the failure to spot him was was ghastly defense A 1-0 lead established. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Antwerp are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Just five minutes left. Antwerp just have to run down the clock. It's come loose. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. So that's it, it is all over. Antwerp hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 